Sandra M. Gilbert's The Parables of the Cave explores the intersection of gender, literature, and cultural narrative through the lens of allegory and metaphor. Drawing on Plato's Allegory of the Cave, Gilbert uses the cave as a metaphor for the constraints imposed on women writers by societal expectations and literary traditions. The essay reflects on how these constraints shape the ways in which women create and understand their work. The Allegory of the Cave Reimagined Gilbert reinterprets Plato's Allegory of the Cave to highlight the experiences of women writers. In this reimagining, The cave represents the narrow confines of gendered expectations and the limitations placed on women's creative expressions. Just as prisoners in the cave are bound by their limited perception, women writers are constrained by societal norms and the prevailing literary canon that often marginalizes their voices. Confinement and visibility. Central to Gilbert's analysis is the concept of confinement. She examines how women writers have been historically confined to certain roles and genres, often relegated to the periphery of the literary world. This confinement is not just physical but also symbolic, affecting the visibility and reception of women's work. Gilbert argues that overcoming this confinement requires breaking free from these restrictive norms and gaining recognition for their contributions. Gendered Perspectives on Creativity Gilbert discusses how gender influences creativity and literary production. She explores how women writers navigate and challenge the constraints imposed by gendered expectations. By focusing on themes of entrapment and liberation, Gilbert highlights how women's writing often reflects a struggle against the limitations imposed by both societal norms and literary traditions. Literary Tradition and the Female Voice The essay explores the ways in which the literary tradition has often marginalized or excluded female voices. Gilbert argues that women writers have had to grapple with and subvert dominant literary conventions in order to assert their own voices and perspectives. This struggle is reflected in their works, which frequently engage with themes of rebellion and self assertion. The role of the literary canon. Gilbert critiques the literary canon and its impact on women writers. She discusses how the canon has historically favored male authors and often excluded or undervalued women's contributions. By examining the ways in which the canon is constructed, Gilbert calls for a re evaluation of what is considered valuable literature and a more inclusive approach to recognizing women's literary achievements. The intersection of personal and political. The essay examines the intersection of personal and political dimensions in women's writing. Gilbert argues that the personal experiences of women writers are deeply intertwined with broader political and social issues. By addressing both personal struggles and societal injustices, women's literature often provides a nuanced critique of the power structures that shape their lives. Subversive strategies and narrative techniques. Gilbert highlights the subversive strategies and narrative techniques employed by women writers to challenge and transform literary norms. These strategies include innovative use of genre, fragmented narratives, and metafictional techniques. Through these methods, women writers create space for their voices and critique the limitations imposed by traditional literary forms. The Search for Authentic Representation. A key theme in Gilbert's essay is the search for authentic representation. She explores how women writers strive to represent their own experiences and perspectives in a literary world that often tries to define them according to male standards. This search for authenticity involves challenging stereotypes and redefining the terms of literary representation. The Parables of the Cave. Offers a critical examination of the constraints faced by women writers and the ways in which they navigate and resist these limitations. Gilbert's analysis underscores the need for a more inclusive and equitable approach to literary studies that recognizes and values the contributions of women writers. By reimagining Plato's allegory in the context of gender and creativity, Gilbert provides valuable insights into the ongoing struggles for visibility and representation in literature. 
This work contributes to feminist literary criticism and advocates for a broader and more inclusive understanding of literary excellence.